Today we're talking about things that can happen while you are reselling. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk about reselling and what it actually is. Reselling is just like any other job. You have the same opportunities to get injured or get hurt. Now, I just had a somewhat of an issue and had to go and have my eyes flushed out as well as have them looked at and inspected just to make sure I didn't do any permanent damage to them. And this literally ties back to me going out sourcing. I was at a place sourcing. I was looking at some items. There were some framework, some pictures up on the top shelf. Everything looked clean. I didn't think anything of it. Now, when I went to pull those items off the shelf, it was just covered in dust and particles. So when I tilt it to pull it down, it just blasted me in the face with all kinds of dust and dirt, which actually got into my eyes. It was a very bad situation for me. Now my right eye right now is still bothering me. I have halos around any kind of light that I see with my right eye. I also have a slight double vision around many different objects, all from when I first had it happen. I, when I closed my eye, my eye had dried from all the powder and dust on it, and I pulled the eyeball with my eyelid when I did that, apparently. So it could be something that could affect me for a very long time. Hopefully it'll go away, as they say. This is just one thing that could happen when you're outsourcing. And I'm very careful. It was above where I could see. I couldn't even jump up to see what was on top. I just assumed everything was fine like everything else. So stuff like that can put you out of business for a certain length of time if it's bad enough. Just like any other job, you have the risks to hurt yourself. Now, we personally know people who have broken a leg, have stitches, multiple cuts, bruises, uh, slip and fall back injuries all sorts of things like that all from reselling just like any other job as I said there's so many risk factors now if you're only going to garage sales and say thrift stores and nowhere else chances are you're not going to run into some of these issues now I do know people who are in car accidents driving between thrift stores as well on a sourcing trip that would be a work-related injury as well now for us we have a BOP I have insurance so if something happens that's work-related, it is covered. So again, that's another reason to have a BOP, a business owner's policy. If you're hurt, injured, and it's a one-person business, what's going to happen if you can't go out and source? I try to express this to people so many times. If I'm out of work for a certain reason, I can be covered through my insurance. I will still get pay while I am laying up in bed or injured from a broken foot or whatever the case may be. This is just one of the accidents that I've had or injuries I've suffered from reselling. Again, I've been reselling full-time for 10 plus years at this point, 25 years in general. So over this time, stuff has happened. The eye issue is just a minor one compared to another one that we had. Now, if you go to flea markets and do a lot of flea market stuff, usually the heavy stuff is on the ground. And for me, I would crouch down just on my toes I didn't like to kneel on the ground. It wasn't comfortable to sit really with stones and dirt. And I didn't want to do that. So I would crouch on my toes. So just the toe part of my foot was on the ground. So all of my weight was on the toes. And I had never thought about it. One day I felt something, felt like something ripping. And it just all of a sudden my foot was on fire. And it turned out I ripped a ligament and literally damaged the joint. The x-rays, even to this day, it just shows a big white glob where my big toe is on my left foot. I have a limp. I have a gait because of that as well. So injuries happen. Back then, I didn't have all the extras. We weren't making a ton of money. I didn't want to have uh, surgery that would put me off my feet for six weeks, possibly. So I didn't have surgery done at that point. I had to wear a surgical shoe for like two years. It took almost two years for me to be able to wear a normal shoe and walk much better from that injury um, without having surgery. Again, I still don't really care to have the surgery. It's, it's livable these days, let's just say. Stuff like that does happen. For us, I go to barns. I'll climb up a wall. I'll climb up a pole to get to the upper part of a barn if there's no ladder there. I'll crawl under crawl spaces. I'll dig through just piles of stuff. Now, some of the places I go are so packed in that you've really got to watch out where you're going. Floor to ceiling, just jam-packed. 
I source that abandoned buildings, five, six story big old buildings that you have to crawl and jump and watch out for holes in the floor and all kinds of things like that. Those are usually where I find most of the best stuff. No one wants to trek into those areas. So that's why I do it. I do love that sort of hunt. You know, I've cut myself bruises and gashes and all sorts of things doing this. You can reach into a box and not know that there's broken glass in there. Now, most people I know have at least gotten a cut from a piece of glass at one of these dig through sales. And those are usually the best. I love being able to dig through. It's like a true treasure hunt. Now I metal detect as well and it's always a risk of when you're digging in the ground to run across broken glass. So you know I usually wear a glove when I'm out hauling even but there's always that opportunity. Reselling is no different than anything else I have done. I have probably gotten more cuts and abrasions from reselling than anything else. I don't mind at all getting dirty or into the thick of it when I'm out sourcing. Those are usually the most fun for me. Those are the ones that I enjoy the most. It's more enjoyable to be able to dig and, and find it, truly find something, other than it just be sitting on a table somewhere or on a shelf. I love the hunt. And as I said, a lot of the places I go may have been abandoned for years or be out in nowhere, like at a big barn or an old warehouse or a shed somewhere. All of those sorts of places are great places to look at, but they're not cleaned up. They're not safety oriented. There's just stuff everywhere. So you run a risk when you're doing this. I had somebody actually think that it was funny and couldn't believe someone would be hurt doing reselling. But again, I know somebody who's broken a leg doing this, fell down. I know somebody who was buckled and hurt their back carrying 150 pounds worth of stuff in their hands. I, I mean, the, the risk factor is there. It is a normal, 100% legitimate business. And it's just like any other job you will do. There are factors involved. You're driving around. There's a lot of people who have had accidents and things like that, been hit with the car and things when they've been out. It's just a risk factor. Try carrying 75-pound boxes of records for three or four hours straight to load them into a vehicle and see how you feel afterwards. And I don't care what age you are. Whether you're 20 or 50, it's the same thing. You're going to be sore and tired after a day like that. I work hard. I don't shy away from the hard jobs. I don't mind sweating when we're out there. I don't mind busting it to get the best stuff or to get stuff that everybody else doesn't want to mess with. So... Take it as a job, treat it as a job, but cover yourself. The only way you are covered if you are injured beyond being able to work is if you have some sort of insurance to cover that. Whether it's medical insurance or business owner's policies, those are all key things that you do 100% need if this is your only source of income. So these are risky. It's not a funny laughing matter. It's something that I take seriously, and that's why I do cover insurance. A business owner's policy is the only way to cover yourself if you're a one person operation. Now, I have coverage. I have other people here that could do most everything that I do. I could still price and things, even if I only have the vision from one eye. But most of you out there are one person operation, as most of you say to me. If you're a one person operation, as I said, and you hurt yourself and you can't drive, you can't use your arm, you can't wrap up, you can't source, what's your backup? Do you have money in the bank? Do you have a way to cover yourself? Insurance like this isn't expensive. It's well worth tracking some down and it's going to take you a little bit of time to track it down. I'm not a promoter for insurance companies, so you're going to have to dig, but there's a major company that does offer it right now. So look into it. You know, Go with who you want, do it how you want, but if you don't have insurance and something happens to you, whether it's related to reselling or not, you could be at the park playing, you could be anywhere out, you could be hit by someone else on the road unrelated to reselling and have a broken leg. You might not be able to drive again, you might not be able to source again, so backup. Having backup for this is 100% essential. You've got to be able to cover anything that happens like this. If you've got a family and you're supporting kids or something, if you're hurt and can't work, how are you going to cover them? How can you afford to pay for the roof over your house or clothing for your kids if you don't have some sort of backup form like an insurance? So anyway, just something to think about. Hopefully that gives you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
some more. But can't get over that bridge to score. Hot Wheels Dynamite Crossing, you put it together. The speed's on high, the launcher's set. Could be this time your car will get over Dynamite Crossing. Dynamite! Now I get to blast your car. Gotcha! Gotcha! Hot Wheels Dynamite Crossing set comes with Bridge Blaster Van. Some sets not for use with some cars. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel.